Now these are the Ludwig Element Series drums, and as you can see, they are gorgeous. Uh, they come in either a four-piece or five-piece configuration. They feature nine-ply hardwood shells and come in a variety of sparkle finishes. These drums are priced for students, but when you hear these things, I think you're going to be absolutely amazed at the sound that comes out. So if you watch the setup portion of the video featuring the Ludwig Accent drum set, you'll notice that Element actually features a different mounting system. Uh, this is an L-arm and all of the Ludwig professional drums use a mount very similar to this one right here. The ball and socket gives you an amazing amount of flexibility in your setup and it's rock solid once you get it where you want it. Now just like the Accent, the Element series comes with everything you need to get started from the drums, the hardware, the cymbals, the sticks, thrown, everything. These elements are the kind of drums that I wish that I had when I was a kid. And if you're practicing as much as I did when I got my first drum set, you're probably going to wear out your first set of heads. And that's okay, because that gives you your first opportunity to customize your new element kit. And one of the best ways that you can do that is with heads that suit your playing style and uh, your sonic needs. Now what I've done is I've chosen some Remo heads that bring out some of the deep tones of these element shells. Becoming an accomplished drum set player is something that will take a lot of time and this will be an endeavor that you will work on for your whole life. But you've got to start somewhere, so here are some of the beats that I think that you need to learn first. So the first lesson that we're going to work on is how to play a simple rock beat. So I use the term rock in the very generic sense of the word. The truth is this is the same groove that you're going to use when you're playing metal, pop, blues, country. It's a very diverse groove. And let me show it to you right now. Now, we can break this down into four easy elements. A double stop with the hi-hat and the bass drum. Just the hi-hat. A double stop between the snare and the hi-hat. And just the hi-hat. So that's going to be what I would like to say is these two, these two, these two, these two. I want to first work on just the, uh, the bass drum and the hi-hat. So we're just going to go. The second thing we're going to do is uh, just the snare drum and hi-hat, which is going to be one, two, ready. Eventually, we're going to go very slow and put it all together. One and two and ready and go. And. So there you have it. There's our first rock beat. Um, the second beat that I want to teach you has a variation on the bass drum. Instead of just going one and two and three and four and, we're going to go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And we're going to do that four times. Here we go. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Now, once we get very comfortable with that, we're going to want to learn how to play some fills. So instead of fooling around with some fills that I don't like and I wouldn't use, I'm going to show you the number one fill that I use in my career, and it's very simple. And here it goes. That fill is so useful. It grooves, it's powerful, and we're going to use that as a tool in uh, building our parts to play music. So what we're going to do is we're going to play three bars of time, and then our fourth bar is going to contain the fill. So let's just play the fourth bar, which is like this. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, and one. 
So we're going to make that our fourth bar. So we're going to play three bars at a time, and then the fourth bar is going to contain the fill. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Second bar. Third bar. Fourth bar. One, two, three. Now, why four? Why four bar phrases? Most music is in four bar phrases. So as you're listening to music, kind of apply that and see how that works. The best thing I would do is uh, put some headphones on. These are some isolation headphones, which I highly recommend when you're playing drum set. They save your ears. These ones have like 25 decibels of sound reduction. Uh, it, it's a great investment for players, young and old, if you want to save your hearing. You plug it into your player, and you just start playing music. Now our job as drummers in the context of a band is to play time and to really outline the sections. We can really paint a picture with what we choose to do on the drum set. There's a lot of different timbres that we can use to help define each of the sections of a song that we might be playing with. Now the timbre we've been using so far has been the closed hi-hat. Well, we've also got open hi-hat. Crash cymbal, ride cymbal, floor tom, using these basic drum patterns, fills, and experimenting with timbres around the drum set. That's going to give you a really good starting point into learning how to be a musical drummer. And that's what you want to do. You want to be able to play for the song. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to play you a song that was on the soundtrack of my first book, Song Charting Made Easy. Uh, and it's called Rest of Me. Pretty sure that 